Check it. All right, guys, what is up? You are back for another video with Data Zero. In this video, we look at AMC stocks, GME stocks, SPY stock, and more. We're going to be looking at the overall crypto market, the stock market, and the meme stocks. In the beginning of the video, I give you an update and prediction on Bitcoin cryptocurrency, where I think it's headed. We also look at XRP as well. Then I look at the overall stock market and a few key essential stocks, Apple in the video, and we look at SPY's charts. Then I hop into the meme stocks, giving you guys an update and prediction on where I think the meme stocks are headed. This video is not financial advice and should not be taken as such. Please do your own research and due diligence before buying any stock in crypto asset. With that being said, let's go and hop in the charts, the facts, the data. Let's go. All right, guys, what is up? You are back for another video with Data Zero. In this video, we're going to be looking at Bitcoin, SQQ, AMC, GME, and SPY, giving you guys an overall update on the crypto market, stock market, and the meme stocks. Let's go ahead and hop in the video and see what we have going on. This video is not financial advice and should not be taken as such. Please. Do your own research and due diligence before buying any stock or crypto asset. With that being said, let's go ahead and hop into the charts and see what we have going on. So the first thing we want to put out is for Bitcoin. Bitcoin is seeing a overall pullback. Bitcoin is seeing a overall pullback to the downside. You guys can see that Bitcoin has this major sloping resistance here, major sloping resistance, and is pushing to the downside. Right now, I do think Bitcoin is going to be holding 25,800 as support as RSI is getting oversold, is getting oversold. So I do think we're going to be holding this overall range on Bitcoin, maybe coming back down to about 25,300. But me personally, I am accumulating Bitcoin. I am accumulating Bitcoin. I do think we could see a little bit of more pullback to the downside on the overall macro time frame. But overall, Bitcoin right now is in a good Point to buy. If we go ahead and look at the Bitcoin charts, the rainbow charts, which gives you a pretty good indication of when you can also buy Bitcoin, you can see that this is a good long term accumulation. And me personally, I am accumulating. If you have never experienced a crypto bull run, it is absolutely crazy. Talk about face melting gains that comes from crypto bull run and i am stacking a lot of crypto getting ready for that next bull run i do think crypto is going to be the future and me personally i'm a huge proponent of bitcoin and cryptocurrency i hold 50 percent of my portfolio in bitcoin then the other 50 percent is a, um, in other coins like ethereum xrp cordana and atom so basically my top four holdings are bitcoin 50 percent ethereum is next then it would be Cardano and then Adam in that order. Um, Adam is, I do have a little bit more Adam than Cardano. Now you can see that um, if you look at history, throughout history, you can see that Bitcoin, anytime you have it in this blue fire sale range, right here's the blue fire sale range, you can see that anytime you have bought in, in this range, it has been a decent time to the upside to profit. You have many, many bands of color above it, and you've been able to profit decently. And you can see back here with the Bitcoin range that we are in the blue trading range, and the lower we get to 25,000, 24,000, the lower Bitcoin goes, the more historically context that is for buying near the bottom again if you were able to buy at 15 16 000, you are absolutely up in profit and the lowest we could possibly go for a possible crash in my personal opinion is 19 000. so even if we did see a possible crash to the downside we might get another bottom off 19 maybe even 15 000. but i would personally be trying to scoop bitcoin up in those ranges in my personal opinion because i do think it is going to move back to the upside and this is a good time to be buying in my personal opinion you can see that the fear and greed is in neutral it was in fear yesterday so again be fearful when others are greedy you can see that's more close to fear than it is greed so again be greedy when others are fearful and be fearful when others are greedy if we look at xrp you guys can see that xrp is moving to the downside basically it had a big pump to the upside and then started to give back some of those gains but personally what i am doing is accumulating some xrp in this range as well i did pick up some xrp about a week or two ago i'm not sure on that one i think it was like two weeks or a week ago if you guys were following the stream i did announce it on the stream but i did pick up some xrp for some pretty low prices and it is looking good in my personal opinion let's go ahead and look at the overall market the overall market and give you guys an update on that so basically apple is looking like it's in a major major rising wedge it's in a major major rising wedge you guys 
guys can see that price is going up, 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 but RSI is trending down. That is a bearish divergence. I have explained this multiple times inside of the stream what bearish divergence is and bearish divergence always plays out bearish divergence always plays out it's just the question is when is it going to play out when is it going to play out and we have bearish divergence in the s p 500 and in apple as well when our side goes down but price goes up that is bearish divergence and it always plays out and causes a crash we also have this structure right here of a rising wedge which always breaks to the downside as well and if you look apple looks like it's probably going to be breaking down tomorrow in my personal opinion we already have the macd starting to flip so it looks like the market is starting to show weakness and stocks like apple and nvidia that hold it up are going to be seeing a pull back by tomorrow. NVIDIA also in a rising wedge as well. You guys can see this rising wedge for NVIDIA. So NVIDIA in a rising wedge as well. I do think NVIDIA is going to be seeing this rising wedge play out and start to move to the downside as well. As you guys can see, it's already starting to break to the downside. So NVIDIA holds up the market. Apple holds up the market. Both of these are going to be seeing pullback on Friday and Monday and Tuesday. In my personal opinion, are going to start moving to the downside within those days. So I think the overall stock market SPY is going to be seeing a pullback as well. You can see that SPY is starting to show a lot of bearishness. As you can see, it's starting to move to the downside, starting to crack to the downside. Also, you can see the MACD is starting to flip as well. And it is in an overall ascending channel if we break below 450 450 that would be confirmation for more movement to the downside so if you see spy break 450 and use it as resistance so if you see spy break 450 and use it as resistance you are going to see more downside for spy so what you want to see is it move to the downside retest this as resistance and then you'll see it further capitulate to the downside and you know that it's put season get ready to grab those puts why because it is moving to the downside i am going to give a call out on discord when i do think it is happening i already told you guys in the discord that 450 is going to be where we move to the downside after we use 450 as resistance so once you see 450 used as resistance again that's going to confirm that move that i do think is coming here friday monday or tuesday between those days it's going to start moving to the downside most likely friday is going to be the start of this crash spy in a very unhealthy rally and you can see that spy is going to be moving to the downside as far as spy macro is concerned again i do think we're in the complacency stage also in a macro bear flag these will be playing to the downside i do think we're going to see a major drop to the downside on spy this would cause sqqq to rally to the upside especially if sqqq runs inverse of the market it runs inverse of nasdaq to be specifically but nasdaq is comprised of s p 500 so if s p 500 and nasdaq start to pull back we could see an overall movement to the downside for the overall market as nasdaq comes up to fill this gap which i think it's going to do come up and fill this gap and then go fill these gaps to the downside that would cause sqq to fill this gap here which it's almost doing it's starting to fill the gap so once it fills this gap that will be good and then it can start to move to the upside which would cause us to overall have this gap filled and be looking only for these gaps to get filled to the upside, which would be perfect for SQQQ. Remember, SQQQ is a highly risky play because the risk to the downside is infinite because if SPY does not crash, you will see it continue to go down, down, down. So you have to be very risky. This is a high risk, high reward play. Me personally, I am playing it and I am holding it. I'm holding these shares, accumulating these shares. I just bought a couple more and I had some already. So I'm accumulating these shares. In this range here, accumulation, 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 and then when it goes up here, this is a 35% gain, this is a 75% gain, and this is a 300 to 700% gain in this range. If we see a major breakdown in the market, basically with the bear flags playing out, you would get paid this whole time. So if SPY and NASDAQ start to play out these macro bear flags and move to the downside, and SPY and NASDAQ are both in complacency stages. So if you see these macro bear flags play out and they both move to the downside, SQQQ would continue continually rack up higher and higher and higher the lower nasdaq goes so again extremely high reward but extremely high risk play but me personally i like those kind of plays and i'm using house money to make those positions and get in a position where i can make a major major bag and if you see the market crashing you know i'm making money just like smart money if you go ahead and look at the market psych cycle psychology you can see that we're in the complacency complacency stage we see that the price kind of moves up then goes up rapidly drops down makes a slightly lower low and that goes into capitulation you can see that where price kind of goes up then a major euphoria rally drops down a slightly lower low with this upwards consolidation chop what are we going to see next a major capitulation in my personal opinion as stocks like 
Apple and Nvidia start to top out, which also have major gap fills to the downside. And if we see these gaps filled, which gaps always get filled, you will see SQQQ start to go up because SQQQ goes inverse of tech and these are tech stocks. Again, once they fill these gaps to the upside, there's nothing else up here. And I do think we're about to get one more bull trap. I think this is about to be a major bull trap to the upside on stocks like Apple and stocks like Nvidia. I do think we're topping out and they're about to rope in a few more bulls because people think this thing's just going to keep going it's already at five hundred dollars it's not it's not just going to keep going up you're buying at the top these people are literally fomoing in at the top and about to be major bag holders when this gets the rug pulled people are needing you for exit liquidity to exit out of these positions and that's exactly what's happening in my personal opinion let's go ahead and look at the meme stocks at the meme stocks and show you guys what's going on for amc and gme Let's go ahead and show you guys the market fear and greed. Market fear and greed is in neutral. Crypto fear and greed is in neutral as well. AMC fear and greed. AMC fear and greed is still in fear. AMC fear and greed still in fear. If we go ahead and look at Coin Codex, you guys will see that AMC is still in fear. So we'll go ahead and pop that up as well. And you can see that AMC is still in fear as well. So all markets and meme stocks, AMC is in the fear mode so this is what i'm looking at for amc as far as data let's go ahead and pull up stonko tractor and give you guys the stonko tractor data we do have 3.2 million short shares i do think they're holding these for a rally that is coming i do think there's about to be a major rally for gamestop and amc if we go ahead and look at short interest short interest reports are at 29.24 percent we are still on the threshold security list as of 8 30 we do not have today's data yet and cost to borrow is sitting at nine percent nine point six two percent and again three point two million short shares is what they have with the cost of borrow down they're able to get a lot more shares also for the market we do have um on tomorrow which is my birthday so go ahead and wish me happy birthday if you like especially tomorrow on the tomorrow's birthday stream tune in 9 15 9 30 eastern standard time to join in for the birthday stream as you guys can see unemployment unemployment rating unemployment ratings is tomorrow this could have a huge effect on the market either pushing it up or down we will see but there's going to be a lot of volatility tomorrow if you're trading tomorrow be careful be careful, okay? I'm expecting downside, but be careful because if these numbers come in good, you might see a pop to the upside. But I'm thinking they're going to use these numbers to probably bring the market to the downside a little bit, in my personal opinion. Maybe they could use them to push up a little bit, maybe get a little quick pop to the upside before leading in a couple more bulls before dropping to the downside. But I believe we're seeing a major bull trap in the market with Apple stock, NVIDIA stock, stocks like that and spy and uh, nasdaq as it runs up people are going to be like oh it's going to the moon it's going to autumn highs it's going to a new bull run which is the definition of complacency stage before pulling the rug on everyone let's go ahead and look at amc stock charts as i did give you guys the data and look at the charts for amc and gme to finish up this video now you guys can see gme has had one two three four five green days in the row in the discord i called the bottom out giving a buy signal on this day and then calling out call options on the next day. You guys can see that GME does have a small gap field to the downside at $17.20. There is a gap field down here. So you want to watch out because GME is also approaching major, major resistance, not only with this sloping wedge here, but with macro sloping resistance here. So GME could see a pullback before an overall push to the upside. GME is in a macro triple bottom and Wyckoff accumulation, okay, macro uh, triple bottom and Wyckoff accumulation. If you look at the Wyckoff accumulation pattern, you can see that GME is playing that out and it also is playing out a macro triple bottom. Bottom number one was off of $15, bottom number two was off of $15 and then bottom number three was off this $16 range. I do think GME is forming this bottom in this beautiful base to run back to the upside, filling the gap fill at $40. There's a gap fill at $40 and there's a gap fill at $70, right? Here's your gap fill at $40 and a little bit higher, there is a gap fill at $70. It's uh, not showing up right here, but I've shown it up on some of the other channels. It is up there. Um, gap fill at $70. It might be on the four hour time frame, but it is up there for you guys. Um, but gap fill at $40 confirmed. And I do think we're going to see this thing move back to the upside, back to those ranges. We could see some pullback Friday. Okay. This thing's been melting up. RSI is getting pretty hot. Um, MACD starting to curl to the downside. So we could see this thing pullback Friday. And again, there is a gap fill at $17. 
and 20 cents. We're gonna go ahead and mark that gap fill here. So let's go ahead and mark the gap fill with gold. And that's how we're gonna be marking gap fills. And we'll go ahead and move this up and mark it with gold as well. And right there is your gap fill. You guys see it and it's marked in gold. So we do have that gap fill to worry about as well as we've come up to major, major, major resistance for GameStop. So don't be surprised if you see this thing pull back. I'd probably take profits on Friday. If you're up a lot, I would take profits on Friday, okay? I've been holding this trade as well. It's been printing all week, but me personally, I'm taking profits tomorrow. I don't care if it runs up even more. I am taking profits tomorrow, not financial advice. I'm taking profits on the calls and the shares tomorrow, okay? Especially with this gap fill down here. I'm not playing with this thing. This thing could pull back anytime. RSI is getting kind of bearish because you guys can see RSI is uh, trending up, um, trending up to the upside. So again, I am not playing with this thing and I'm going to be taking profits. I think GME could probably see a red day tomorrow. Basically, at cons uh, maybe even see a little bit of pullback down to the 17 to 20 level, filling that gap before moving to the upside. That's what I'm looking at for GME, GME stock. Now, Amy, let's talk about Amy. So on the short time, we're looking pretty good. You guys can see that this had this crazy wick to the downside, stop loss hunting. As you guys can see, we also had a glitch caught live on stream, a glitch caught live on stream. I did post that on the Twitter. So if you want to check that out, and someone did manage to clip it for me, so I really appreciate that. But we did get the glitch live call on stream. So if you want to check that out, go ahead and check out my Twitter. It is on there. But basically, I do think AMC is actually going to be able to hold these levels and continue back to the upside. I don't think AMC is going to go much lower than 12 bucks. I don't think AMC is going to go much lower than 12 bucks. We might have to retest 12 bucks as the base. But basically, what I think we're doing is building a bottom. Okay, we already bottomed out at this $10 level and we moved up into this trading range. Marked in white are the trade ranges you guys can see this range here this is the range let's go ahead and give this a white mark right here so right here's your range and then right here's a range we were in this range and now we're in this range you guys can see we're stair stepping up building a bullish base in order to come and fill these gaps we have multiple gap fills to the upside and me personally i'm thinking about averaging down in these levels, especially if I can take profit on GameStop here on Friday, I'll be able to use that profit and roll it into AMC to average down. That way I can make profit off of these gap fills. I want my uh, average to be lower than $32 to $20. That way I can get profit once these gaps are filled. Not financial advice, but me personally, I want to be able to make a profitable trade. I'm always looking to make profitable trades. I'm always looking to make money and these gaps will get filled. So if you can get your average low enough that it is below either of these gap fills, you will make profit when the gaps get filled. The lowest I think AMC is can possibly going to go is back to these uh, this fill this gap. I think AMC is about to see a major rally, though. I think we're about to actually recover back to the upside, fill these gaps, and then possibly move to the upside into the $50 to $100 range. I really don't see why AMC cannot hit $100. I know people think that sounds crazy, but I really don't see why AMC cannot hit $100. I don't, really don't see why it cannot hit at least $100. I think we're about to see a managed squeeze event, a managed rally to the upside. With all of the dilution they have, all of the shares they have, with the cost of borrow dropping down because of all the shares they have, it shows that they have an abundance of shares because of the reverse split. And I think we're about to see a managed squeeze event. We're still on the threshold security list. They're still doubling down. So there's still a short squeeze play. The thing is they have a ton of shares to manage the event. They also have shares coming in from dilution. So again, I think we're going to see a managed short squeeze event. And I really don't see why it can't go to at least $100 in my personal opinion. I'm going to do some more charting and then make a new brackets video and a new price target video for amc so just wait for that video it might come out this weekend i'm not making any promises but just wait for that video i'll have a new price target and bracket video for amc but basically i think we're about to see a recovery back to the upside i think amc is going to be holding this 12 dollar level possibly tomorrow retesting 13 dollars. if we can break back above 13 dollars and 50 cents we could see a push for about $14. If we go ahead and look on the smaller time frames, you guys can see bone Japan's are constricting and we are looking good holding this base here in the pre-market. Now, we did see a huge push up in pre-market today. We could see a random gap up on AMC at any time. I'm not saying that's what's going to happen. Most likely that would happen around GameStop earnings um, or shortly after GameStop earnings. I do think AMC and GameStop are both about to enter a major rally. I think that's why they're holding these short shares. And 
getting prepared for a nice push up on AMC. If we go ahead and look at trading view and trading view when I had the MOAS mode wrap, you guys can see when the days that I had the MOAS mode wrap, I was able to tell the price every single day. AMC was on track to squeeze. All we needed to do was just relax, be patient. I literally called the price every single day live on stream and the MOAS roadmap was tracking candle for candle. That told us we would have squeezed between the times of Oct or September 26th and October the 6th, October the 6th. So basically, I think we could still see a squeeze event around that time. Again, not financial advice. Do not take that to the bank. This is just my technical analysis, my research, what I'm looking at. But I think we could still see a squeeze event in that time frame. I'm not giving dates. I'm just giving this time frame that I'm looking at based off the chart. You guys can think whatever you want. But this is not a date and do not take this to the bank. This is what I'm personally looking at with my personal research and technical analysis. And based off the MOAS roadmap, we could see a squeeze event around the 26th of September all the way to October the 6th or October the 11th, that range is when we were set to squeeze, when the MOAS roadmap was completely tracking before the reverse split, knocked it off track and all of that got involved. So this is what I'm looking at based off of all the technicals and research. It does look like AMC is finding a bottom. I told you guys all of this stuff will be happening. I told everyone before the reverse split happened, I said the highest price you'll have for a long time is pre-market before the, right after the split. That was $20. You guys can see that's the truth. Then I said we would have to drive down and get pushed down hard. Then I called $10 as the bottom. We went to $10, made a bottom at $10, formed a base, which we're doing right now in this training range, and then popped up to the next training range. What we're doing right now is building a base to move to the next training range. We need to use the stairs to go up, and that's what you need to do to build a bullish base in order to see this thing continue to the upside. If we do not do so, then we cannot continue to the upside. So what we are seeing right now is you're just going to have to have patience and take time, but you guys can see the Bollinger Bands are constricting. Let us know volatility is coming. We're starting to see the MACD curl. We're starting to get some green MACD candles. We're starting to see the MACD curl on the daily time frame starting to curl back to the upside. RSI is extremely oversold on the daily time frame, meaning that this would be possibly a good time to buy. Me personally, I like to buy stocks that are beaten down like this. This is how I identified GameStop as a good buy. I seen RSI was extremely oversold. I seen that it was beat down for several weeks, and that how I, that's how I was able to call the bottom for GameStop. I seen that it was near the previous bottom as well. I looked at the Bollinger Bands RSI and saw the MACD flip, was able to call the bottom for GameStop, and was able to get in. These are the type of stocks that I'm looking at. I buy low and sell high i know it sounds crazy but i buy low and sell high lots of people like to buy high and sell low they like to buy on green days i like to buy on red days red weeks and that's what amc is having not financial advice so guys this is what i'm looking at based off of the charts and again we had a huge bearish engulfing week we're not having a green week i did predict a green week for amc and a green week for gme on this week and that's exactly what we're seeing on the weekly prediction update video i predicted a green week for spy for gme and for amc and it looks like based off of the chart so far that's exactly what we're seeing again Every weekend, I drop a weekly prediction and update video. You want to check that over the weekends. I normally drop it on Saturday. Guys, I predicted a green candle on AMC, a green candle on GME and SPY. Everyone thought I was absolutely crazy. Look what we're printing. Weekly candles green on all three. So, guys, if you want this type of analysis and predictions, you want to press subscribe right now. If you want the plays like GameStop, Apple, these crazy calls that I'm making, you want to join the Discord, you want to join the Discord, and you want to watch the live streams. Live streams start at 9.30 Eastern Standard Time. Check them out. I stream market open to market close. Also, you want to check out the Discord. Discord is $50 for a lifetime invite. You must email me first. Link down below is my Discord or is my email. Data Zero Official 5, Data Zero Official 5. Email me at the um, email and say, hey, I want to join your Discord and I'll send you the payment information and I'll send you the link and it's as easy as that after you pay. Now, guys, I also have a membership you can join. The membership is $2.99 a month. You can cancel anytime. You get validation as a member. Your, your name gets a badge next to it as a member and your name gets put on the home screen and you get access to members-only content. And this helps me out a lot because 
uh, YouTube ad revenue is not that much. So memberships really, really help out a lot. Super chats help out as well too, but I use that money to reinvest back into the channel trying to make it better. So that's what we do with the super chats. So memberships are definitely a help out as well. So guys, if you want to support me for absolutely free, all you have to do is simply drop a like, leave a comment, or press subscribe. That is a great way to help the channel go grow if you want to help out also you can share the links you can share the links on your twitter facebook any social media helps share the links all over with your friends and family show them the channel physically show them the channel all of that stuff helps me grow and helps the channel get viewed by more people and i greatly greatly appreciate it but guys this is pretty much the video again check me out tomorrow morning in the shorts feed i drop predictions and updates early in the morning then that's a pre-market prediction then i get on the live stream giving you guys updates throughout the day and then cover you guys from that to the next day with these update prediction videos so here you are this is your update prediction hopefully you watch to the end and as always have fun stay safe make money peace out all right that was the video if you found it informative go ahead and drop a like press subscribe for more content like this and remember you can check me out on twitter and discord for even more data zero updates and as always i appreciate each and every one of you that watch this video to the end to see this message i do have the membership you can join the discord that you can join i'm working on the trading class which will be available on the fourth but if you want to support me for absolutely free all you have to do is simply drop a like leave a comment or press subscribe or share the videos that is a great way to help the channel grow and as always have fun stay safe Make money. Peace out.